Okay, this is our first book classroom video. I hope you'll enjoy doing things a little differently for this chapter. So remember the way things will work is I'll show you a short video, hopefully no longer than 10 minutes. I'll hit some basic ideas and some examples, typically the way we do things in class. I'll have you try a few on your own, hopefully, and then in class you'll do the homework. So today's 8.1, we're beginning chapter eight all about polygons and the characteristics of polygons. Today we're gonna to concentrate on the measures of the inside and the outside of polygons. First part, formula I want to talk about is to sum of the measures of interior angles of a polygon. This is our formula. N minus 2 times 180 gives you the sum of all these inside angles. So the N represents the number of sides or number of angles, the same thing. So if you're looking for the sum of all the angles, take the number of the angles, minus 2 times 180, that'll give you all of the, the sum of all the angles. This is just a corollary. This is one that you probably already know. The sum of the measures of any four-sided figure is always going to be 360. This is exterior angles. Look at the difference between where inside angles are and where exterior angles are. If you take the sides of any polygon and extend them, that outside angle is what we're talking about. The sum of all of those outside angles, whether it be a three-sided figure or a ten-sided figure, the sum is always 360. That's an easy one to remember. Look at a few examples here. These are some ones that you need to be familiar with. It's going to make chapter 8 a little easier for you if you know those. Uh, the first section says find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of the indicated convex polygon. Convex just basically means that all the angles go inside. They're all less than 180 versus concave would not have that factor. So a hexagon, it has a six-sided figure, six angles and six sides. So we're using this formula, n times 2 times 180, to find the sum of the measures of the interior angles. We know that a hexagon has six sides, so we're going to plug 6 in for 2. 6 minus 2 times 4, or 6 minus 2 is 4, times 180 gives you 720. So 720 degrees is the sum of all inside angles. Dodecagon, this figure has 12 sides. 12 minus 2, remember n is the number of sides. 12 minus 2 is 10, times 180, the sum of those measures is 1800. You can either pause the video now and try number 3 or come back to it. Next section says the sum of the measures of interior angles of a convex polygon is given. Classify the polygon by the number of sides. We're working backwards for these problems. So we already know that the sum is 180, and this is an easier problem. We're using the formula like we've always done, plug in what you know and solve for what you don't know. So this, when we find out the answer to this formula, we know that the answer is 180. So we're going to figure out how many sides it has. I'm going to work backwards. So we want to have n equal something at the bottom. I'm going to divide by 180 first, and then I'm going to add 2. So we know that this figure has three sides, which we know is called a triangle. That one was an easier problem. For number 5, similar idea. We're working backwards using that formula to figure out how many sides it has. Divide by 180, add 2, so we know it has seven sides and it's called a heptagon. Try number 6 same idea. These problems were finding the value of x. We have to do a little bit more work for this. We don't know the sum of all these angles, but we need to figure it out. So we know that we're going to use that formula. <clears throat> we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sides. So I'm going to say 6 minus 2 times 180 will give us the sum of the sides, which will help us set up an equation. When we solve this, we get 720. So 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 times 180 is 720 degrees. So we know that when we add all of these, these angles up, it has to add up to 720. So my equation would be 105 plus 142 plus 140 plus 124, I'm going to have to wrap this around, plus x plus 88 equals 720. It's a long equation, but many of them are just numbers. When you solve that, you end up with x equals 121. And the directions ask you to solve for x, and that's what we did. Very similar idea for number eight. You have to find out the sum of the measures of those interior angles, and this time we have five of them. The sum has to be 540. I set up my equation using all of these numbers and set it equal to 540 because they must add to 540, and I found out that x is 56. Nine and 10 are a little different. If you look at the difference, seven and eight are inside angles. Nine and 10 are exterior angles. And remember, exterior angles must always add up to 360 degrees. So I took all of these exterior angles and set them equal to 360. Simplified and solved, x is 64. Try number 10, very similar to number 9. 
11 and 12, same idea, we're using that same formula. Number 11 says the measures of exterior angles of a quadrilateral are 90, 10x, 5x, and 45. They want the measure of the largest in exterior angle. So we're gonna set these equal to 360 because we know, whoops, 90 plus 10x plus 5x plus 45 equals 360 because they are exterior angles. When you solve this equation, x is 15. Now they're asking me just for the largest exterior angle. You could go through and figure out which one's the largest, but I can plug this back into 10. So 10 times x gives me 150, which would be my largest angle. Very similar for number 12, we're working backwards to figure out, you know, they're telling us that it's an octagon. We know an octagon has a sum of 1,080 using that formula. So I can add up all of these angle measurements and set them equal to 1,080. We figure out x is three. They want to know the smallest angle in this case. And let's see, 38 times three, three is going to be our smallest one, or 38x. We plug in my x value, smallest angle is 114. <clears throat> Remember, all polygons that are regular, they have all the same interior angles and all the same exterior angles. This is a similar idea. We're using that same formula, but we know that all the angles are the same. So what we're trying to find is the measure of the interior and the exterior angles. Well, we know that a regular triangle has three sides. I'm just going through the motion so that you see the steps that are involved. Three minus two is one, one times 180 is 180. We know that the sum of all those angles inside is 180. Since they are all the same, I can divide by three to figure out each interior angle. So interior angles are each 60. Exterior angles add up to 360, and we know there's three angles there also. So we can set 360 or divide by three, and we end up with 120 as our exterior angles. So we know the sum is 360, we know there's three, and they're all the same because they're regular. Similar idea with the octagon. We know that the interior angles add up to 1,080, divide by eight, because there's eight of them that are the same. Each interior angle is 135. 360 divided by eight is for exterior, because they always add up to 360. Exterior angles is 45. Hopefully you notice that the interior and the exterior angles will always add up to 180. Try 15 with the 16 gone. Uh, 16 and 17, word problems. <clears throat> Number 16 says, each interior angle, angle of a regular end gone has a measure of 140. Well, we're looking first again at regular end gone. We're trying to figure out how many sides it has. So we're going to use that same formula. But on this side, I don't know what it adds up to be, but I know each one is 140 multiplied by the number that there is. So simplifying this equation, 180n minus 360 equals 140n. Move the 180 over, divide by whatever that ends up giving me, so n is 9. So it has a 9-sided figure. N gone is just a generic way of saying a four-sided figure, a 10-sided figure. Typically, it's for ones that aren't named in the previous slide. Um, similar idea, exterior angle. So we know that each exterior angle has, is 45 degrees. We don't know how many angles there are, but we know their sum is 360. We're working backwards, so we know that that is an octagon. <clears throat> Number 18 and 19, these are word problems. I solved this one for you just very quickly similar to the last problems. So they're showing us that these angles of this, I guess it's a storage shed. So I said all of those angles added together is that formula. I know there's five angles. Minus two times 180 will give me that sum of 540. On the left-hand side, I simplified. I got 6x plus 80. I end up with x equals 60. And they do ask me to find the measure of each angle. So when I plug 60 back in, these two angles are 120, actually these three angles are 120, and of course, those end up giving me 90. Uh, 19 similar kind of problem, go ahead and try that. So if you could pause the video for a few minutes and try the few problems that I had suggested for you, and then when you come back, the next slide is gonna give you the answers to the try it. So these are the few that I had told you to try. These are ones that I want you to do on your own so that you can try the things that are fresh in your memory. You'll actually do homework problems for the two points credit next time in class.
You can always play back the video for any questions or ask me in class.